We are officially a week away from Mafia Defense Edition arriving on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. And obviously, I'm very excited about this. A week from today, 6 p.m. Central, midnight in London, UK time. Going to be streaming my first episode of Mafia Defense Edition. And that's going to be like a four or five hour, six hour stream. And then Friday, we'll be continuing with episode two going throughout the weekend. So, yes, we are so close to Mafia Defense Edition arriving. Heading back to Lost Heaven very, very soon. And I know a lot of you are excited about it as well. There is a new trailer. Link below in the description section. We're going to do a quick breakdown and uh, check out through the ranks from bootlegging to bank robbing in Mafia Defense Edition. To succeed in this town, you'll have to get your hands dirty, carry out the family's business from bootlegging to bank robbing in iconic Mafia missions, reimagined in expanded scenes, and refined gameplay. Okay, here's a scene that's iconic for all you Mafia City of Lost Heaven fans. By the way, no spoilers. It's a little uh, get-together in the garage between the uh, Salieri crime family, Tommy, Polly, Sam, a few other guys. And, uh, you know, they're just having a chat. They're showing off some uh, alcohol products. I think there's going to be a little exchange of uh, currency for the booze because it is the uh, Prohibition era. Which is what led to a lot of these uh, organizations uh, making a lot of money and becoming extremely powerful and dangerous throughout the 1920s, 1930s period. Here you see Don Salieri along with uh, some of his boys having a little toast, a little drink, just checking out the product. You want to make sure that the, the product you're uh, selling, even if you are not exactly doing so legally, is good quality, right? You want to make sure that the customers are happy. They're leaving good reviews for you. They're like, hey, you know, that stuff that uh, Salieri is bringing in from Canada and elsewhere, it's good stuff, man. It's really good. So, you know, Don Salieri takes pride in the product, and, and so does Sam and Paul, as well as Tommy. They just want to make sure it's, it's really good quality uh, booze that they're uh, selling to the community of Lost Heaven. <laughs> Obviously, bootlegging is one of the things that you do in a uh, criminal organization. It's one of the ways you can make money and uh, help keep the Don happy. So money's important. You got to make that money. One of the ways to do so is the bootlegging, especially, like I mentioned, during the uh, Prohibition era. Bank robbing was also a popular way that uh, criminals would make money back in those days. I mean, you've had bank robbery forever since banks have been around. But during the uh, Wild West period in America and all the way up to the uh, Prohibition era, there were quite a few bank robberies that happened here and there in real life from like Machine Gun Kelly to Bonnie and Clyde, uh, to some of the you know popular Wild West uh, figures that uh, did a little bit of uh, you know withdrawals here and there. So bank robbing, obviously it's a must in Mafia Definitive Edition. Two important things when it comes to robbing a bank. Obviously in this day and age, you have to wear a mask for social distancing. But back then you'd wear a mask so you would not be identified in the event that the uh, robbery goes south. Even if it goes well and nothing bad happens except for you taking a few bucks out of the bank, it's insured by the FDIC. You don't want people to know it was you, so that's why you want to wear a mask so that you cannot be identified. Back then, they, they didn't have all the technology that we have today. A lot of people would just go by their eyeballs like, oh, that was the guy. He looks like him. He's the same height, the same build, the same complexion. But the mask makes it a little bit more difficult, especially when people are cowering in terror, afraid to be uh, cut down by a Tommy gun and some guy yelling and screaming at you. It increases the chances of a bank robber in this time period of successfully, A, getting away with the money, and B, never being identified. And whenever you're opening up a bank vault, you want to make sure you, you got the muscle, right? You want to work out a few days a week, hit the weights, the gym, the cardio, especially the weights, upper body, lower body, because it's taking a lot of muscle for this unidentified assailant to uh, open this huge vault door. So you want to make sure you got the muscle, right? Literally in order to get this door open because if you don't if you're not working out if you're not getting in shape if you don't got that mass on you then you're gonna have a, a bad time trying to get this uh, door open now sometimes when you go to a restaurant uh, you hope that the food's good quality that you're actually getting your money's worth you hear good things about this restaurant you're like hey they got a great spaghetti they got a great lasagna they, they got a great 
whatever they have, whatever you're in the mood for. Maybe you're in the mood for some blackened catfish or chili and sea bass. But sometimes you show up and you, you take a bite and you're like, oh, it's disgusting and it's so bad you just flip the table. And every now and then you just got to go and you don't want to go down the stairs. You don't want to uh, go out the elevator. Maybe the elevator's not working. Maybe there's not an elevator in the building, right? So you just have to uh, jump out of a building sometimes across the way and hope that you land somewhere other than the pavement down below. By the way, don't try that at home, kids. I'm just saying. I believe this is the interior of a lovely looking bank. It looks nice as marble. It has a security guard. It has people coming in uh, writing checks or depositing checks. Back then, checks were a thing. Some of you are probably like, what are checks? I never heard of checks before. It's all digital, baby. Well, some of us still use checks. I do for paying my bills. Well, most of my bills. Some of them are automated, but I'm kind of old fashioned. I like to be able to read my bill and say, okay, that's how much I owe this month. Boom, okay, I'll write a check. But yeah, people would go to the bank. It's not like it is today of ATMs. You'd actually have to deal with tellers, human beings, in order to either deposit a check, deposit cash, or you know make a quote unquote withdrawals. Not the same way that uh, others will be doing in Mafia Defensive Edition, but I think you get the idea. In this scene, Polly asks Tommy, are we doing this? And Tommy replies, we're doing it. Now, what are they doing? Uh, I think what they're doing is they're going to go watch a lovely baseball game. Or they're going to go uh, hang out at the uh, beach at the lighthouse, just chill, uh, get some sun, hang out with some broads, uh, go for a little swim. I think that's what they're doing. I, I have no idea what they're doing. It, it can't be anything criminal, right? The iconic missions in Mafia Defense Edition will return in a week from now, including... A certain race that I'm sure a few of you are aware of. Quite infamous because when this race first uh, was done in the original Mafia uh, game, Mafia the City Lost Heaven, it was almost impossible to beat. Fortunately, they went back, the developers, early on with the patch. Even they could do batches back then in 2002. And they actually added difficulties to where you could lower the difficulty setting for this uh, iconic race which allowed a lot of us to complete the race and continue playing Mafia City of Lost Seven because if you don't win the race, you're screwed. You have to keep doing the race over and over and over again until you beat it and it can make you a little salty. There's also expanded scenes in Mafia Defense Edition that will add to the original story of Mafia the City of Lost Seven. For the most part, from start to finish, I believe the story is going to be roughly the same but they are adding a little bit more here and there to flesh out the characters as well as add a few more important factors here and there to the events, the story surrounding Mafia Definitive Edition. So it's not 100% the same as Mafia the City of Lost Heaven. In fact, as some of you are aware of, there are some locations throughout uh, Lost Heaven that have been renamed as we've gone over previously, but at the same time, Hopefully, uh, every addition, every expanded scene that they add from Mafia Defense Edition makes sense, and it only improves the overall story of Mafia Definitive Edition, but I guess we'll find out one way or the other when we play through the game. Refined gameplay. This game definitely looks much better graphically than its uh, 2002 original game. And that's obvious because back then, graphically, uh, we weren't as far along in the early 2000s as we are today in 2020. The games were still amazing, you know, like GTA 3 and, of course, Mafia the City of Lost Heaven. Despite some clunkiness, despite some quote-unquote issues, overall, still, they looked great for their time. But it's nice to see this full-fledged remake of Mafia Definitive Edition with up-to-date graphics. And I'm looking forward to checking out the world of Lost Heaven and see the sights and free ride. That is going to be a lot of fun. Not just to do the main story, but also just explore the map of Lost Heaven and outside the map as well. In the new and improved uh, 2020 graphics. Welcome to the family. That's right. You will be joining the Salieri crime family in just a week from now. Don Salieri is happy to have you join his fine organization. Just follow the rules. Do what the Don asks. And there won't be any trouble. And when Don Salieri asks you to uh, mow them all down, he doesn't mean go and get a lawnmower and uh, mow the front lawn or the backyard. 
I think you get an idea what Don Salieri is uh, talking about. <laughs> and the trailer ends with the iconic mafia theme. Love the theme. So glad that we're going to see that return along with the uh, score. I think they're going to talk about the score uh, next week leading up to the launch of Mafia Defense Edition. One week from now, Mafia Defense Edition arrives. We're heading off to Lost Heaven September 25th officially. But there are obviously a simultaneous global release happening. It's going to be midnight London time and then a few other times as well throughout the world. We did do a uh, global release times video a few days ago. And for Central Time Zone, which is my time zone, that's going to be 6 p.m. September 24th. So that is about the time, the rough ballpark, when I'm hoping to kick off my first episode, my first stream of Mafia Defense Edition on medium setting. We're going to play through the game uh, on medium setting, start to finish. And then we're going to go back after we're completed with the medium series and do it again on classic difficulty. So we got two Mafia Definitive Edition stream series coming up starting next week with one. Then right after I'm done with the other one, maybe a day or so break, depending on what else is happening. And then I'll jump back into Mafia Definitive Edition with classic difficulty. And I'll be rotating like on one console, it'll be Xbox One X. And then for the other series, I'll be playing it again on classic with the PlayStation 4 Pro. Very, very excited, obviously, for Mafia Definitive Edition. Hopefully you are as well. And uh, your thoughts, your views, and opinions about what are you looking for to do the most in Mafia Defense Edition and what console or platform you're going to be playing this game on. Welcome, as always, below in the comments section.